I'm just saying. We weren't told to love the book more than you love that which beats your heart. You weren't told to, to love your belief system. You weren't told to seek a belief system. You were told to know the truth. And the truth would set you free, would make you free. Well, what is the truth? The truth is that we are all these living, loving, intelligent, potent, and immortal points of absolute and supreme intelligence. And when it comes time to leave, we should have uncovered, discovered, and self-realized, self-actualized, and harmonized with that truth so that when it comes time to go, you have not died. Absolutely. We're in a celebration, Sister Adama. And I want to make it clear that we give credence to the external force that guides and perpetuates life. But... That external force doesn't have no viable presence in our lives if we don't understand the internal God that lives within us. If we don't give credence to the internal God that activates truth within our very lives and our very being, then we will never manifest our potential and reach our purpose. That's the key. You have to have the two meet. If you're going to give credence to an external God, if you believe in this omnipotent force that God, that governs all, you have to understand that it lives and dwells within you as well. And that's why the cleansing is necessary. You understand, when you've been feeding off the carcasses of dead animals and aborted fetuses and the pus and mucus of cows and artificially colored, artificially flavored, neutral sweet aspartame, MSG and all of these chemicals and alcohol and tobacco and crack and cocaine and heroin and reefer and all of these things, then it's impossible for the true spirit of the living God and goddess to dwell as your reality because you are not clean. Absolutely. You understand? And that's why it says cleanliness is next to godliness. No, the cleanliness allows for the God sense. Mm. You understand? And that's who we are. That's why we're being poisoned, so that we don't have that much sense. We got money, but we ain't got that much sense. Mm. You understand? We don't need another dang going dollar. The money is not the issue. The sense is the issue. The sensibility is the issue. The responsibility is the issue. The ability to respond correctly and directly to being under siege is the issue. The care to rise completely up is the issue. The care to be in integrity, to honor and glorify the legacy of the lineages that we represent, that this is the issue. And where you do that work, where you care to do that work, you can be completely healed anywhere that you are, but you've got to do more than just stay in the word. You have to dwell in the presence as a presence and do the inner clearing, cleansing, purification. you got to want it. You got to. You got to. Because like you said, all the poisons that have been imposed on us has been systematically put in place. There's no coincidence that the soon as we got some type of consciousness in the, in the 60s and we was rising up, the influx of the drugs right. came into the community. We went from afros to, to, to straight hair and mm. high heel boys. The brothers were wearing these high heel <laughs> shoes and tight mm. pants and bell bottoms. And it's no coincidence when we were our most masculine <laughs> when the feminization entered into the equation, entered into the community. It's, it's, it's no coincidence that as soon as we kind of started a little bit getting our health back on, on path and we were starting to create our own farms and growing our own fruits and vegetables, they genetically mod modified organisms was flooding the communities. That, I, that the, the restaurants that actually serve fresh fruits and vegetables were withdrawn from the community and put in liquor stores, corner stores, candy stores. It's no coincidence. See, these have been put in place systematically so that you would not have a connection to the living God. So you won't be a living organism yourself and you would be just a walking dead. So now you don't have any chance of freeing yourself because you don't even have any life to even draw from. You don't even have the energy and the power to possess the mind that it takes to do and bring forth your own salvation. And that's why a lot of people mm. are dead before they even leave the planet. 